In this video, you will see Kelly and Maria try to evaluate the indefinite integral of 3x minus 4 times 3x squared minus 8x plus 6 to the 7th power. As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. Do you have any ideas for how to um, go about it? I mean, it kind of looks like we should just do the first parenthesis set first and then the second parenthesis set and stick it together. Okay, so separate. 3x minus 4 and that other guy? Yeah. We have an x squared. 3x squared over 2. Mm -hmm. Minus 4x? <coughs> yeah. Okay, and the other one would give us? 3x to the third over 3, right? Mm hmm. Oh, but then we have that whole thing to the seventh. So. Oh, maybe make a whole parenthesis set around it and then raise it to the eighth and put it over 8. So now you're saying that, how do we combine them? We're just back again. Multiply them, because that's what they did up here. Okay, so if we have, should I erase some stuff? Yeah. Um, so maybe now we could try to take the derivative of it? To check that we did it correctly? Yeah. Okay, also I think I forgot parentheses, hold on. You wanted to do this whole... Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if we take... You don't want to get rid of all that too. Yeah. The derivative. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to do the chain rule. Okay. Okay. So we'll do the derivative of the first one first. So that gives us 3x mm -hmm. minus 4. And then we leave the second one. And then... Is it plus or minus? Plus. Leave the first one times the derivative of the second one. <laughs> well, well, we can just bring this one yeah. eighth out front. So it really comes Isn't down. Isn't it just going to turn back into what we started with? 3x squared minus 8x plus 6 to the 7th power? Oh, yeah. Sweet. So it turns. That's not the same thing. Um, oh, so you're saying we should have gotten what was inside the parentheses there? Yeah. Or like, sorry, what was inside the integral? This. Oh. And we definitely did not. We kind of did, besides the fact that we have all of this multiplication going on mm -hmm. that we shouldn't have. Um, okay. So we can't separate them. Right. Um, be helpful if there was like a rule for it. Yeah, I mean, we could also maybe take what we started with and just, we could multiply the whole thing out. Um, but we have that power of seven in there, okay. so you'd have to multiply that. Seven times? Seven times, yeah. Um, so I don't really want to do that. No. Um, but it would be nice if we had kind of a shortcut to get there. Yeah. In this video, Kelly and Maria tried computing the indefinite integral of each factor, but realized that their answer was incorrect. They thought about expanding the polynomial to the seventh power, but thought that would be a lot of work. We'll explore a more efficient way to evaluate particular indefinite integrals in upcoming videos.